And not that I'm speaking for myself, but holiday shopping is overwhelming, especially when you're always on the go. Yeah, it sounds like someone I know. And with prices on the rise, finding a decent bargain is like really, literally looking for a needle in the haystack. But how about a one-stop shop where you can support local businesses and cross everyone off on your list? Yeah, you are speaking my language. <laughs> I love it when you're able to do that. And here to tell us more is the executive director of Handmade Arcade Holiday Market, Trisha Brancolini Foley. And thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Us again, thank Trisha. you for having me. We are excited to be here. We're back full pre-pandemic capacity. Mm -hmm. Yay. 250 makers, um, 17 hands-on activities and demonstrations. So you can come and see glass blowing, screen printing, learn to embroider. That's wonderful. Um, we have a great, we're back to 2019 epic proportions and I am over the moon excited. And thank you for having me this morning. And we also should mention too, yeah. it is Giving Tuesday. It you guys are giving, a nonprofit. Handmade Arcade is a nonprofit that exists to lift up makers and support them and give them a platform to grow their business. And we give them, we do workshops, we do, we do year round work with them. So we are asking for donations today and we are on the Give Big platform. So, you know, feel free to make it a little right. yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, don't be shy about don't, asking. You know, no, it's it, would be it would be amazing. It helps us. We keep the event free for a reason to make it accessible so anyone mm -hmm. can come, even right. if you can't afford to buy a $70 ceramics piece. There are $5 items all the way up to a couple of hundred dollars. But the key is the admission is free so anyone can come anyone and check out what's happening. Well, let's so, start down here sure. with our youth makers, which yeah, I think is so this incredible is that they're getting their hands in early. So we um, work with uh, a group of youth makers every year. We've been um, we've been fortunate to be funded by the Grable Foundation and the American Eagle Foundation. And this is some stuff from some makers. This is um, a 13 year old student. She does collage prints and water paintings. Her name is Veronica at Spool and Company. This um, is from a, a young woman named Anna. This is my favorite story ever. She has a developmentally delayed sister who is deaf who draws these um, little creatures and then Anna takes them and makes them into oh these stuffies so like oh, I great. when I read her application I was like yes, yes. Come, come. Right, yeah right. and so and then this is one Let's of our talk about the eyelashes yeah so this is a young entrepreneur I don't know where to hold it but a young entrepreneur named Taylor who is um, her it's called boss girl collection and she is doing makeup and eyelashes and she does hemp she go, goes to the thrift store and gets um, uh, clothing and upcycles it and paints on it. She is so she is a boss girl. I love she is really that. cool. Oh, that's um, great. Yeah, and one of the things I want to shout out real quick. We have a virtual catalog online right now, so mm -hmm. it's kind of like the, the it's like the digital toy catalog. So you can go on to handmadearcade.org, click on virtual catalog, and you can pre shop. You can see everyone who's that's going great. to be there. They all have a page, and you can heart click the heart and favorite them right. so you know who to shop from Make at the event. Make your wish list. Make your yeah. wish list. <laughs> Absolutely. I want to talk about some of the soap there. Because yeah. The label on the one I thought was so Pittsburgh. Yes. And I can't see it right now, but it's really. Yeah, it's called Yinzer Warsh. Yinzer Warsh. This is by um, a soap maker. Um, Ritual Soap Works, and she's a really cool gal. She has got some really great stuff. For the kids on your wish list, this is such a great stocking stuff for a little fanny pack, a pack pack. Pack, pack. Kids. Yep. These are so cute. They have them in all different colors, all different sizes. For colorful, if for the adult who might want something fun and colorful, they have them in adult sizes. They are great gifts. This one doesn't quite fit. Me. That, was, that was a kid's size. <laughs> it looks good on you. Talk to us about these little people. So this, this is, is a is new. Mr. Rogers, yeah. Right? So this is a new maker, Yellow Brick Kids, and they make um, wooden toys for children. This is like their smaller line. They have uh, these little peg ornaments. So they. This is the Mr. Rogers collection. They will be there. They also make larger pieces that are for like kids with like sensory issues they make larger toy pieces for kids to play with they're really the thing about the maker community is that they're not just like making they're thinking they're mm -hmm. recycling they're keeping things out of right. landfills they're thinking right. about ways to better your life yeah. and that's what we love about love it. Garbella I have one of yeah, her sweatshirts here Pittsburgh I love you and then we have some other I don't think we're gonna get through everything well I want to call out really quickly the beautiful glass bulb is from okay. the Pittsburgh Glass Center yeah. the Pittsburgh Glass Center in lieu of having their sale at the glass center this year is going to have a pop-up shop at handmade arcade with 15 glass makers who aren't normally there so you can do you can watch them blow glass you can buy glass it's like I'm beside myself pleased with the way things are panning out this year. Yeah, watching the demonstration yeah. of yeah. them blowing glass it's and creating something like this, yeah. I mean, it really is fascinating. It will suck you in. Well, yeah. We're so happy Thank that you're you. back, and this Thank sounds you. like it's going to be an amazing time. It is. Saturday, December 3rd, 
free tickets. We're asking people still to register for tickets for a little crowd control. We're still doing that um, at our website. Perfect. And you can see that information up right now on your screen. Don't forget, big event Saturday, December 3rd, 11 to 7. There is a way for early bird shoppers to get started early. There's a happy hour even on Friday night. There you go. All right, for more info on all the special opportunities, just go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.